this is a location that we call Massman. It's our storage facility for a lot of our equipment, but it's also the location of where we have our salt barn. Because of last year's storms, we had quite a few of them. It did deplete our salt storage and our salt reserves. We're restocking a lot of our salt. So with the pre-treated salt, they got a color to it. That way it distinguishes itself from regular salt, just as environmentally healthy as any other particular salt. And because of the treated salt, we can actually use less of it, which is actually better on the environment, better on the grass, better on the vegetated swells, etc. So basically for this year, we've initiated something called an AVL system, an automatic vehicle location system. It's a software that will help us track our vehicles when they're out in a snow event. We can actually track when the trucks are actually plowing, when they're putting salt down. We can actually determine how much salt they're putting down, which will obviously help us keep track of what roads have been completed, which ones have not been completed. And ultimately, with this system, we'll be able to have an outward facing portion that the public will be able to see. So that way they can actually take a look at a map online and kind of see the status of where the roads are at and the conditions that they're at with where, whether or not we plowed them or salted them, et cetera. The public, their biggest questions are where, you know, when the street's been plowed, where's the crews, with this system, they're gonna visually be able to see with uh, periodic updates where our crews are at and what's been completed. So the site will update regularly throughout the storm so citizens can actually see all throughout the city where the progression has been for snowplow trucks and where they've been and what's been treated. So along with the new AVL system, this year we're transitioning from four street levels to three and those three Three levels are priority routes, secondary routes, and residential routes. We understand the importance of all routes throughout Independence, including residential streets, but we do ask patience from the public when it comes to getting to those residential streets. For safety reasons, we do need to work through the priority list and we'll be at your street as soon as possible, so please allow those crews time to get there. So this is our Chrysler Public Works facility. This is basically our home base for public works operations. Primarily here, our fleet operations have been working tirelessly for several months trying to get all our fleet vehicles ready for our snow operations, winter operations. A lot of these vehicles are used for street maintenance and that includes hauling a lot of asphalt for pothole repair and or street repairs. During snow events, we fit them with the plows and the spreaders. Off season, they get taken off, they get stored. When we bring them back in, basically we clean them, we make sure they're fully operational and safe to use and attach them to the vehicles. During winter operations, we do ask the public to, if at all possible, please move your vehicle out of the road. It allows our crews to go through and treat those streets. We have a lot of large equipment and it just makes it a whole lot easier and more efficient for them to get in and out as soon as possible.